G'day guys, today I want to talk about the strength and durability of these Ultimate Pro Crab Pots. So I've got in front of me here four of the 900 emeralds. Now, crabbing trip a few days ago, this particular pot here got completely buried. And when I mean buried, so all I could feel was the top ring and from my thumb down that pot was completely buried in debris and mud. Now, we put a lot of effort into getting this pot out, including pulling by the rope, using an anchor, and using a bow hook. When this crab pot came out of the water, I was expecting it to be destroyed and ripped in half, but it wasn't. It was a bit twisted up. Now, unfortunately, I didn't film the straightening out of this pot, but all I did is broke a couple of strands of mesh. You see I've repaired there, and there's one other broken one there. Now if you have a look, the pot sits perfectly flat. It's essentially as good as new. So what I'm gonna do now is roll on the clips of the torture we put this pot through and it's still good as new. Man, these pots are spot on strong. All right, Video I'm excited. On. Video on. I'm excited. You're excited. That one's stuck too. That's heavy. Righto, what we can do, we've got a little tool here, have we? It's not the strongest, but... And he's proper buried. See if you can pull up on this pole above me. That I'm afraid that rope's gonna snap. What I can do, maybe, is this. which isn't real good for it. Pull that rope tight again. Right. Right. How deep it? Not deep at all, about knee deep where the pot is. All we can maybe do. Come this way. You want to tie that to your front bit there. I'm just going to tie it to that. It's there, there it is. Nearly got it. Got it? Nearly. Something gave way. Not much of a pot left. <laughs> no. <laughs> got it. We got it. Oh. Oh, he was buried. So as you can see, we applied a lot of force to this crab pot. More force than you could apply to the average crab pot. I was expecting this thing to be completely ripped in half. Now, all I did is pop a couple of strands of mesh, which isn't too bad. Uh, the ring, 
the top 8 mil ring we had to straighten out the bottom 10 mil ring wasn't damaged at all none of the legs were damaged nothing was damaged except the top ring being bent and a couple of strands there so this pot is still very usable it's like nothing ever happened to it if you didn't know I stitched up those couple of strands you wouldn't know it had been through what it's been through and survived anyway that's my take on the ultimate pro crab pots get yourself some today they are spot on